Hi mamas, today I wanted to tell you my why, because my why is very tied up into why I do the kind of medicine that I do and what the clinic has turned out to be and who I am as a person. And so I'm going to start my story of why about six years ago. And six years ago I had an ectopic pregnancy rupture and I almost died. Um, and I was told not to get pregnant right after that, after I'd gotten through the surgery and had lost all the blood and um, was depressed as heck. And um, immediately I got pregnant, immediately, um, first cycle. And so I spent my entire pregnancy with my first child not only depressed and anxious, but in my second year of medical school, um, drowning in paperwork and tests and exams. I'm not joking when I tell you that I took a test every single day that I was in school during my pregnancy. Anyway, so I have this pregnancy, 39 weeks pretty much on the dot. My water breaks just like it does in the movies all over my floor. We used up every towel in the house. I went to the birth center to have my kid where I was super mismanaged. And um, three days later when I was still in labor, not having my kid and finally transferred to the hospital because I was septic and I'd been in labor for more than 70 hours, um, I had a C-section. And then after that C-section, I went back to school at four days postpartum, literally dripping blood and milk in, in the classroom while I took finals because I couldn't not take finals. Um, and as you might imagine, going through an entire pregnancy very depressed and anxious, having a traumatic delivery, having to go back to school at four days postpartum after major abdominal surgery, I did not do well. That was, it was a little bit too much stress. I don't recommend that people do what I do. Um, but what happened because of that was that I decided that no one else in the history of ever should go through what I did because there were really clear signs. First, that I was depressed and anxious. Um, and those signs were there prior to me ever really conceiving my firstborn because I'd just gone through something traumatic before him. And then the pregnancy I care was inadequate. Um, the care I got was inadequate and I really could have gotten better. And then the postpartum care that I got was a disaster. Uh, my midwives told me that there's no way that I was depressed because I was just in med school and of course I was overwhelmed, um, despite the fact that I'd already done two years of med school and, and it, this was different. So it took me eight months to get into somebody that actually believed that I was really depressed and not just in med school. And, it, and in that eight months, I essentially alienated every friend I had. I broke my hand because I punched a pack and play. I didn't sleep for more than two hours at a time. And these are all, these are all completely preventable things. If I had gotten the, the training that I have now, it would never have happened and I know exactly that it would never have happened because I got pregnant again when my oldest was a little over two and I had twins and during that pregnancy I had excellent prenatal care from a midwife who I love dearly who um, was there at the delivery instead of the perinatologist who actually managed a lot of the complicated stuff and we had a rock-solid postpartum plan that I now teach to other people and I did not get postpartum depression and so I'm living proof that the way that you do things can totally change w how they get done and I just feel like we need to be able to access the care that allows you to not have these devastating things um, if I had been able to live those two years of my life that I lost to depression after my first pregnancy loss, I, I can only imagine how much more I would get done. This time around, when I had my postpartum plan in place, when I had a care provider who was actually looking at me as a person rather than me as an algorithm, I had such a better experience. And even with twins, and even with preeclampsia, and even with our landlady selling our house when I was 36 weeks pregnant, and even with losing all of our f funding, which these are all risk factors for postpartum depression, I didn't have a problem 
I had a village, I had herbs on board, I had vitamins on board, and when it got to it, I had medications on board. And those things completely changed the way my life goes from day to day. And so one of the things that got me into this particular kind of medicine is that what happened to me doesn't have to happen to other people. You're not alone. And there are options. <laughs>